Hey there, young explorers. Welcome to the mesmerizing world of coral reefs. In this video, we'll dive beneath the waves to discover the incredible beauty and importance of these underwater wonderlands. Get ready to meet colorful fish, fascinating creatures, and learn why it's important to protect these magical ecosystems. Did you know that corals are actually colonies of tiny animals called polyps? Tiny coral polyps multiply and develop into expansive colonies, serving as the fundamental units of coral reefs. Given their gradual growth rate, a single coral begins as a lone polyp and over centuries it can divide and expand to create substantial colonies. Coral reefs are found all over the world. However, most coral reefs grow in shallow, clean ocean waters on either side of the equator because they need sunlight and warm temperatures all year to survive. Some famous coral reefs include the Great Barrier Reef in Australia, the Amazon Reef in Brazil and French Guiana, the Tubataha Reef in the Philippines, and the Miami Terrace Reef in the United States. There are many types of coral reefs. Fringe reefs grow close to the shoreline. It can be attached to the shore, or there may be a narrow strip of water called a lagoon or channel between the land and the coral reef. Barrier reefs grow further from the shoreline, sometimes several miles from the shore. An atoll is a ring of coral surrounding a lagoon of water. It starts out as a fringe reef around a volcanic island. As the coral grows up, the island sinks into the ocean and just the ring of coral is left. Some atolls are so big that people live on them. An example of this is the Maldives. Now let's learn a few fun facts about corals. Corals are very busy. They are happening places. Even though they only take up a little less than 1% of the ocean, around 25% of all marine life call them their home. More than 4,000 different kinds of fish depend on coral reefs. Coral reefs host a diverse array of marine life, ranging from giant clams, starfish, and sea turtles to seahorses, eels, and cuttlefish. These intricate coral ecosystems offer essential resources such as nourishment and refuge for this varied community. Many reef inhabitants employ camouflage techniques to either evade predators or stealthily hunt for prey amidst the coral formations. People love coral reefs and one of the reasons is their beautiful colors. One of the ways they get the color is from a particular alga called zooxanthellae. This alga lives on coral and requires the sun for photosynthesis to produce chlorophyll, which can result in vibrant colors depending on the environment. The closer to the surface the coral lives, the brighter the colors because there is a higher concentration of UV rays. Corals are carnivorous creatures, primarily feasting on plankton and small fish. Using stinging tentacles, they capture their prey and absorb nutrients. Coral reefs are a kaleidoscope of biodiversity, boasting hundreds of species in a stunning array of colors, shapes, and sizes. From the intricate, branching structures of staghorn corals to the mesmerizing hues of brain corals, each species contributes to the reef's vibrant tapestry. Brain corals look like a human brain, with maze-like patterns weaving across their shape. Branching corals can grow up and out like tree branches or create a flat top like a table. Sea fans, a type of soft coral that doesn't create a hard exoskeleton, have giant flat fans that wave gently back and forth with the water's current. Sea pens or sea whips look like trees, forming what can truly look like an underwater forest. Pillar corals grow in tall columns that, in colonies, can look like a city skyline. Some corals form delicate flower-like polyps, while others create robust, massive colonies. This rich diversity supports a myriad of marine life, creating complex ecosystems that teem with vitality. Did you know coral reefs can move? Contrary to their seemingly static appearance, 
corals possess a hidden ability. They can move. While it's not a swift journey, some coral species exhibit a remarkable adaptability known as coral locomotion. They do so through a slow process of secreting new skeleton in one direction and deteriorating tissue in another, allowing them to gradually adjust their position. This adaptation is particularly vital for corals in competitive environment, enabling them to seek optimal light, nutrients, and space. While their movements are measured in millimeters per day, this capability showcases corals surprising resilience and capacity for survival in the dynamic underwater world. In addition to supporting marine life, corals provide food and income for hundreds of millions of people. Corals produce our sandy white beaches and protect our shores from up to 90% of potentially damaging waves and flooding. The benefits that coral reefs provide us is estimated to be worth $10 trillion per year. Corals are one of the slowest growing creatures on Earth. Corals have calcium carbonate skeletons and cover large areas. They are one of the slowest growing creatures on Earth, with an estimated one centimeter growth in height per annum. A coral reef spreading just a few square kilometers would have taken around one million years to grow. The Great Barrier. Reef is so immense that it's visible from space. Stretching over 2,300 kilometers, it comprises thousands of individual reefs and islands. Coral reefs are crucial in generating oxygen for the planet. Despite covering just a fraction of the ocean surface, they contribute over half of the oxygen produced in the oceans. Did you know that they're really, really old? While corals are animals, they have been around for a very long time. There is evidence of coral reefs being in existence for more than 240 million years. If you visit a coral reef today, it may be up to 10,000 years old. This is definitely one of our favorite facts about corals. Are they in danger? Yes, the coral reefs are slowly being destroyed. Since they grow at such a slow rate, they are disintegrating faster than they can be repaired. Much of the damage is caused by humans, primarily from pollution and overfishing. If we don't take action now, it is predicted that nearly all reefs will be threatened by the year 2050. Let's keep our oceans clean and preserve this vibrant underwater world for generations to come. And there you have it, children. We've embarked on an amazing journey, delving deep into the world of coral reefs and uncovering some truly astonishing facts. I hope you've enjoyed this exploration. Until next time, keep exploring and cherishing our beautiful planet.